Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to uh, another Hot Wheels unboxing or cracking video. And uh, today we have the Fast and Furious Furious Fleet. This is number one out of five, the Honda S2000. Pretty cool artwork. That thing did not want to come out. Awesome wheel choice. And awesome detail. Guess them look like swords. I thought they were snowflakes. Next, we got a custom Mustang, number two out of five. I guess none of these want to be opened. Seems like all the different die-cast brands have been doing this blue Mustang, but uh, Hot Wheels, they nailed it with the front headlights. Look at the detail on the front headlights. That is really good detail. All it takes is a little decal. Not really any detail on the rear tail lights much at all, besides being red. And it looks like they may be down a little bit lower than what it should be. Not a bad wheel choice. Next, got maybe my favorite out of this set is a Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Wide Body. Oh, and this is the only one that it opened up easily so far. Awesome wheel choice. Definitely and probably my favorite one out of the set. Love the wide body kit on it. The Hellcat symbol. You know, this has paint rash on it real bad. I thought it was a reflection of the mat, but... It looks like it has paint rash on it really bad. Which is kind of funny because uh, gloss black gives me a hard time with uh, paint rash. Gloss black and gloss white for some reason. When you clear coat them, they'll look real like chunky like that. But you can actually feel it in the side. And usually on the roof and the hood, usually lays nice. It's funny, a uh, company as large as Hot Wheels has the same problem I have with the same paint. Kind of ironic. I don't know if that little red light's supposed to be on the side. It's kind of odd place to put a little brake light. But I guess it's on both sides. You got the front turn signal in the wide body kit too. And the next one is going to be a Jeep Gladiator, which came out either in the last Fast and Furious release or the last premium release. I had motorcycles in the back or dirt bikes or something.
Now this one has like a utility box, which is cool. Nice set of real riders on all of these. You can get painted detail on this side, but not on the other side. It's something in the bed, too. Looks like just a green box. And the last one we have is a Land Rover Defender 90 in black. And this might be my second favorite out of the set. S2000, that's probably my favorite casting out of this set, but not paint job. Definitely my favorite casting and uh, wheel choice, too. All these have a pretty good wheel choice on them, though. Four American vehicles and two foreign in this set. Awesome detail on this, though. So. Not a real rider. It's a plastic tire on the back. Wish they would throw an extra real rider on the back. That'd be cool. And the black paint job on this might have a tiny, tiny bit of paint rash on the sides. Not as bad as the Charger, though. Oh, a short video. Just wanted to... Quickly uh, go over the new Fast and Furious set. Furious Fleet. Let me know which one's your favorite out of the set. I still probably would say the wide body Challenger, Charger, whatever. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave comments. An awesome day.